don't yeah. you think Michael Jordan is the greatest ever? Go with it. Have the conversation about why Jordan is not the greatest. Yeah, You're not, not a Bulls fan. And Jordan and, 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 and people get on your nerves when they right. say Jordan, Jordan, is Drake, Jordan is not the greatest of all time. Come on. May, he might be the most popular of all time because, yeah, he might have been the most watched of all time, but he's not the greatest player of all time. He's not. He's not better than Kareem. He never, wasn't better than Wilt. He wasn't better than – and I know they play different positions. I, you know, I, I've even said he wasn't the best player in his draft, which he wasn't. But – and then, you know, people had these revisionist – people had this revisionist uh, history, and they tried to make him out. Well, Jordan defeated all of these Hall of Famers. And listen, what Jordan, makes him not better than Kareem? Yes. What? What makes what him makes? Not him? I mean, what makes him not better than Kareem? J- Kareem revolutionized the. And Jordan the revolutionized basketball Kareem altogether. Truly. But he didn't know. He just was the beneficiary of basketball going on in actuality. Uh, he, he, he he was the he was the beneficiary basketball altogether. He was the beneficiary of basketball going live. Michael Jordan didn't do anything that Dr. J didn't do. Michael Jordan didn't do anything yes, that Oscar did. Robinson didn't do. He, no, he didn't. The only difference is more people saw it. They no, didn't do anything was, that they didn't do. Michael Jordan is definitely not better than Magic Johnson. He was but by far better people. than Dr. J. He was more prolific as a jump shooter. He was more prolific uh, as a scorer in general. He might not based have been as what? athletic as as um, based on what the man has damn near the highest. I'm saying how many ever? How many? How many Dr. J games did you see? I didn't see no Dr. J games. I was born in '83. I can read a book though. But that's my point. So how can you say that he was a better shooter than Dr. J? Nobody actually saw Dr. J play. Because they kept stats and when Dr. J played, just like they keep stats now. Just like they say the man, uh, Will Chamberlain, had 100 points. Nobody saw that game either. Right. But you can well, read. Not even that one. So what I'm saying to you is, so, so you're basing that Jordan is a better shooter based on what? Shooting percentage? Um, based on shooting percentage, yes. So based what's Dr. On the, J shooting based percentage? on the four or five games that I went back and watched with Dr. J on the YouTube or on NBA TV. And, uh, yeah, mainly based on stats, though, seeing that those are what you use to compare errors, seeing that you can't compare errors. What? And that's what I'm saying. Jordan is just the beneficiary of TV going live and the fact no, that, well, that, why, that why, the NBA... Why is, why is it not Clyde Drexler? Why is it not... Um, um, I don't know, uh, Anthony Hardaway. Why is it not? Um, I don't know. Name somebody else that was out there. Uh, what's the What's the white boy from Phoenix? Because uh, I didn't uh, say Charles Barkley or there. Kevin. Why is it Why is it Michael Jordan that did? It? And, and I, because I didn't say I didn't say that Michael Jordan wasn't great, and I didn't say that he wasn't better than other players. I just said he's not the greatest of all time. No, you literally not. just said he wasn't better than other players. You literally just said he was only great because people got to watch him. You just said he wasn't better than Dr. J. He, I said he didn't do anything that Dr. J didn't do. The difference is more people got to see Jordan do it, so they say so was, he's the greatest. So in your, uh, he scored so in your opinion, points. was he better? He scored 50 points more times than Dr. J. Well, Dr. J also didn't have a three-pointer. Three-pointer for most of his Well, I mean, Jordan was a true first scorer. Neither did Pistol P. Pistol P was putting up 50 so without why a three-pointer people don't say Pistol P greatest of all time. Because he wasn't the greatest of all time. That would be absurd. He was great, though. Because nobody remembers Pistol P because nobody got to see Pistol P play like they see Jordan, like they got to see Jordan play. Jordan, people got to view Jordan play basketball live. They did not get a chance to view. Okay, uh, hold on now. Now, Pistol P ain't put up 50 in uh, in the pros, though. Yes, he did. No. He did yeah. that in college. He wasn't too prolific as a scorer in the pros. Okay. He, he was Jordan the beneficiary of the NBA becoming popular. Amari is trying to say something, man. I can't hear it. 
This is the thing. Like people three point line I know had a three. Well, okay. Jordan did not. Oh, hold this on. is but, what yours but, was doing but, yesterday, Dar. Jordan did not abuse the three point line. It's not like he sat around two degrees. That's why he did the shoulder shrug when he hit that three against Portland. Because he wasn't no three. I know. He didn't know what was going on. Right. So now, I'm, I'm going to put it like this. If we're basing it on stats, right? So, yeah, like, okay, if you can talk about James Harden as far as maybe his stats might be a bit padded because he hit so many threes. But you can't say that with Michael Jordan. But if we're basing it on stats, LeBron got better stats than Jordan. And but nobody's willing to know well, there are few people are, but most people are not willing to say LeBron is better than Jordan. And I mean, some some I mean that that's a compelling argument to many people. And both sides can be, you know, both sides can be both both right. Repeat that question. I didn't hear but that. what I'm saying is I said if it was based on strictly stats. LeBron's stats are better than Jordan, but many people will not say LeBron is better than Jordan. And in, in, in mm. many cases, many people will be right. Others will say LeBron is better than Jordan. In many cases, they would be right. But what it comes down to is Jordan is not the greatest of all time. Jordan is just one of the most viewed players of all time. And so because more people got to see Jordan, that is, he is the player that sticks in their minds. It's almost being a prisoner of the moment. If more people got to see Wilt Chamberlain play, if... 40-year moment? If more people would have gotten to see Wilt Chamberlain play... I imagine more people would, would, without a doubt, say Will Chamberlain is the greatest of all time. If more people got to see Kareem Abdul-Jabbar play, I imagine, without a doubt, people would say Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the greatest of all time. If more people got to see Magic Johnson, and that might, Magic Johnson is another one who is a beneficiary of TV of, of the NBA becoming more popular because he actually helped the NBA become more popular. Magic Johnson is not the best Laker of all time, but most people refer to him as because he's the one that sticks out in their mind. Magic Johnson wasn't a better Laker than Kareem. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell you could say Magic Johnson was the best Laker of all time. He wasn't better than Kareem, but people don't even think about Kareem. Kareem is an afterthought because Kareem is not an afterthought. Kareem leads the NBA in all-time points. My my question would be this. If I can't compare Michael Jordan to a player I did not see and say he was better, how can you compare Michael Jordan to a player you did not see and say that that player that you did not see was better? Why was That's Bill my, better on, than Michael hold, Jordan? Hold on. 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 As great as Kareem was, without Magic Johnson, how the hell Kareem going to get the ball? Explain that to me. I agree to you, but you can't sit here and tell me that, that Magic Johnson was a better Laker than Kareem. I sure who, was, who won all the MVPs when they played together? I don't know. I, I, I imagine Kareem did. The he scored the most points. Uh, I imagine the ring okay. the most Who was the most? I said, who won, who won all the MVP? When they played together? Yes. What was Kareem's last I MVP? I want to say what? The 88 year? The 87 year? Whatever. No. Well, uh, I don't know what. 80, 87, 86? Because remember, he won one as an old man. But anyway, he won six league MVP. Kareem had several. He got six. Magic got. I mean, Michael got six. Kareem got six rings. Michael got six rings. So it's like, what you basing it on? Kareem is the all-time leading scorer. Michael is fourth now, fifth. So what you basing it on? Because you got to see Michael and you didn't get to see Kareem. No, I saw a little bit of Kareem. I mean, a lot of a lot of people saw Kareem, and those people mm -hmm. who saw Kareem still say Michael Jordan is better than Kareem. Seven two two twenty five. 
Damn, seven two he was two twenty five. Holy yes. cow! That had to be when Man, he was coming was out of high biggest school. Biggest and the best thing had a, had a, at all time. Had a had a end had an indefensible shot. Actually, has stats that yeah. are not even count, accounted for because, from what I understand, all of the things that I have read up on him, because there aren't many clips of Kareem. He was a defensive player, but most of his blocks weren't even counted because they didn't start counting blocks until, what, 80, what year? 80, what, 81 or something like that? 80, 80, something. I don't know. But I know the last time Kareem won MVP was 1980. That's the last time Kareem won MVP? Yep. So when did he win all his MVPs? In the 70s? Yep. 71, 72, 74, 76, 77, and then 80. Okay. And then how many did Magic win? Three? Magic won 87, 90, 89, and 90. So Magic got three. Kareem got six. I don't care about David Robinson. So no, what I'm saying is I don't care because again, if you're basing it on stats, if you're basing what I'm saying to you is because the RC said to me, the RC said to me, how can you compare the two errors? Right? You have to base it on stats. Now, of course, you don't base it on stats alone, but you have to base it on stats. Kareem has better stats than Michael Jordan. So if it was on stats alone, he wouldn't be the greatest of all time. But without a doubt, it is, it is popular opinion that Michael Jordan is considered the greatest of all time because he was viewed by more people in his prime than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was. If, more, if the same amount of people who were able to see Michael Jordan play in his prime were able to see Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in his prime, I'm saying it is in my opinion that there that, that there's no there there would be no comparison. The only reason that Michael Jordan is considered hey, the greatest of all time is because he was viewed by a mass a much more massive a, a more massive audience. More people were to able to see Michael Jordan in his prime. Again, not saying Michael Jordan is not great. No, you're discrediting him. You're discrediting his accomplishments. That is you're not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. I'm saying he is not the greatest of all time. I'm not saying he's not great. I'm saying he's not the greatest player ever. He's not. I'm not saying I'm not saying he's Before sorry. I'm not that, saying that he sucks. I'm saying he is not the greatest of all time. All times meaning Every single error. You're saying he's better than every player before him, every player after him, hands down. That's absurd. That's what Thank I'm saying. Thank you for defining the term for me. What you stated was that he, if everybody got the same amount of people got to see Kareem and got to see Michael Jordan, it would not even be close. That is what you just stated. You said it would not even be a matchup. For you to say that is absurd because the only stat that he's better than is he's got more points than the man. He played an extra 50, five seasons than the man. Blah, 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 blah. All I'm saying is that he has the same amount of championships. He has more blocks. He has the same All amount I'm of MVPs. Okay, okay let me know when you're done. He has the same amount of MVPs, so that mm -hmm. means that's a push. He has mm -hmm. the same amount of championships because that's what everybody tries to make Jordan to be. That's a push. And if I if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. oh well, no, he did lose. Yeah, but you're not asking because he lost Michael the Jordan to block. That, yeah. You're not like, just like you're not asking for him to do the ball to get a fist or to, to steal. But here's my thing. Here's the thing. One is seven two. Hold on, hold on. One is seven two. Okay, and the other one is six six. Okay, so if everything is all the same, if everything is all the same, most people are going to say it is easier to be a big man and to play basketball. That is a common thought that most people have. That is why Michael Jordan is the greatest, because everybody is clumped together, and the only difference is that one man is shorter than everybody else. 
The other ones are seven feet, seven one, seven two, six nine, six ten. You've got all those people that you're including. If you include LeBron, six eight. All those people included in the greatest of all time. And then you have one person. One person who did everything that those seven footers and six tenors did, but he was six six and did it with more swag than any of them, except for Will. Right. And he dominated. Yeah, you don't the think ball. Will Chamberlain dominated so the ball? The man scored 100 points. The team scored 120. That's my point. So you not so you can't sit here and tell me Jordan is better than him because Jordan had to do it as a guard. What did I just say? What did I just say? You can't say what you can't say he so Jordan is better than him because Jordan had to do it as a guard. Jordan is better than him. Everything being equal, Jordan is better than him because he never lost. That is my opinion why Jordan is better. Because Jordan well, see, that's crazy. Crazy. He, he never, never lost, lost the finals. finals. He never lost You're the all finals. About winning. You're all about winning. All First great, second, great, you're saying goal. because he never Good lost point. the finals? You're saying because he never lost the finals? Right. That's not my point. My point is what makes Jordan greater than folks who have greater stats than him? What makes Jordan greater than them? Can I finish the entire point? What oh, makes oh, it? Oh, oh, let's finish. What the fact of making what the rest of your team does better. he have better than Jordan? What stats does Kareem have better than Jordan? One, his point. Blocks. He scored that, more points. Has, I mean, in total. That's only count. in total. More points. What do you mean that's only he in has total? More blocks what does that in mean? Average, average, he didn't, in average, if you go <laughs> average per year, he didn't play 500 more. extra games. He played five. Hundred more games than Michael Jordan. I'm just saying, but in average, you know he didn't score play. more points than him. And what? But you know why he was able to get more games? Because he was I seven two. <laughs> I said in average, That's he why didn't he score more points. More games. He's saying he did not average more points. He didn't average more points than Jordan. Okay, so. What you mean? Okay, so but I'm not even looking at all stats. Just an I mean, as of right, as of right now, as of right now, as of right now, as of right now as of right now as James as Harden averages more points than Michael Jordan, correct? Who? But you wouldn't dare say James who? Harden averages more points than Michael Jordan, correct? No. But you wouldn't dare say no. you no, wouldn't dare say that James no, Harden is not. better player than than ever. No, he doesn't. The most, the most, the, the most points. Okay, fine. The most, the, the most points Jordan uh, ever averaged in his career in a season was what? 29, 30, 30, 37, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Oh, Larry Bird. So, okay, Larry Bird. So now, if, if, if you truly, if you truly are the greatest of all time, you had the greatest scoring season of all time, and you're not even considered the most valuable player of the league that year, come on now, what does that say? Uh, that That's a popularity man. vote. He should have been MVP for seven years in a row. What you mean it was a popularity vote? The man won six MVPs. Reason. I mean, he should have been MVP every single year, the same way LeBron should That's have been absurd. MVP for 10 How was years. he supposed to be MVP every single because year? Because he was clearly the best player in the league for at least 10 years, right? No, I'm not even saying all time. You don't even I mean, give him that? No, oh, he my. wasn't. He wasn't. You're saying because he never lost in the in the NBA Finals, right? Magic Johnson won the I'm saying that. you were watching the league. You were watching basketball. And that's also why I know he wasn't the best player Michael in the league. Jordan. He wasn't the best player in the league. There were some amazing players in the league. You had that Magic is Johnson. Like that. That you is had, totally you had a Magic, that you is had totally Magic Johnson in the league. You had Larry, his you had had Larry Bird in the league. You had Isaiah Thomas old. in the league. You had Hakeem Olajuwon old. in the league. You had Charles Barkley uh -huh. in the league. You had Adrian uh -huh. Dantley in the league. You had all uh -huh. of these great old. players. These are you can't sit here and tell me he was just hands down. You just can't say he was hands down the greatest player in the league for 10 years. No, he was not. He had to wait his turn just like everybody else. You had Kareem, you know you had why Kareem I say that? Abdul Jabbar in the league. 
He was hold already, on, hold on. He was older than Dirt. You know why I say that? Yep. Hold on now. Okay, so why do I say that? Eighty-seven say years. Eighty-seven was eighty-seven was uh, Magic. That's what I said. Magic Johnson won MVP, and they won the NBA won Finals. The yeah, they were I back specifically back. didn't say yes, his whole career. Back. I specifically said for a ten year stretch. Go ahead, Amar. If it was a ten year stretch, meaning from what? Okay. From eighty from eighty eight to ninety eight. When did he re- when did he retire? Who that? Every look. he retired for the second time in ninety eight. From eighty seven. From eighty seven to ninety three. Hold on. From eighty seven to ninety three. From eighty seven to ninety three, and then from uh, what's okay? Hold on, eighty seven to nine, eighty seven, ninety three, and ninety six to ninety eight, he led the league in scoring all ten of those years. Okay, led the league. Okay, eighty seven to ninety three, and ninety six okay. through ninety eight. How many MVPs did he win? I don't. How many MVPs did he win? About MVPs. Six. Who cares? My point is this: it's no. I'm telling you why it matters. Because if you're the if you're the greatest player of all time, how can you? If that was the case, then why why do they give it to other players? Why do they give it to other players? I'm telling you why it doesn't. So it doesn't look so slanted. Come on, man. I know James MVP is an award. arbitrary award that is handed to you, sports writers. Okay, sports writers vote on this. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Like I said before. Yes. David Robinson was on MVP. He didn't win the championship Elijah every won. year. He didn't. He didn't win the championship it. every year, and he didn't win the MVP every year. So what does that mean? Okay. Now, championship. They don't give you the scoring okay. title. They don't give you the NBA championship. Oh my God. That means that, that okay, they both so he won was, it and that some people get life. But you, you've even said that Michael Jordan is not better than Magic okay, well, Johnson. Okay, kid who has the best you've even said that all the awards even, of the awards. Ceremony. You even said so that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I said I like that. Hold on, Ahmad, your computer is tripping. Adar, what did you do to fix your computer? Because your computer was sounding like this yesterday. Or last now time. His is cutting out like every two seconds. Are y'all hearing that as well, or is that just mine? No, I hear Because I can't, I can't get a complete thought out of him because I can't oh, hear really? it. But then it just pops in when somebody else is talking. Come back in. All right, well, that's just the nature of it. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay, because I'm looking at me fine. So, Usually the- so, what I was saying, yes, I did say yeah. that yeah, I like magic because I like the versatility. I like guys who are versatile. That's my thing. So, yes, since magic could play all five positions on the floor, have success at them because magic could score when he needed to. He wasn't no shooter either. He could rebound, steals. I do love all of that. I like Magic. I do think Magic might be the best all-around player in history. If I was starting a team, I might think about picking Magic because I love point guards. But at the same time, you can't discount Jordan. I did not discount Jordan. And try to- I said Jordan is not the greatest of all time. Y'all act like I'm saying the man is a scrub. That is not what I'm saying by any means. I'm not saying anything of the sort. I wouldn't dare say that. I'm not saying Michael Jordan is not great. I'm saying he's not the greatest of all times. You say he's the best player in the history well, of the NBA. You're also saying he's not the greatest of his era because you also stated that as well, right? You also said he wasn't the greatest player of his draft class. You also stated that as well, right? Right. Okay, well, I mean, damn, you've taken a lot away from him. So what, he's basically just the greatest bull ever? He's one of the greatest players in the NBA. He's not the greatest of all time, no. But is he top five? Is he top 
ten? Is he top three? Is he Mount Rushmore at least? Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely top he's, ten. Absolutely. <laughs> he's definitely top ten. He definitely is top ten. With yeah, it, that's funny. Top ten. Is he the greatest? Is he the greatest? Is he greatest shooting guard? Maybe he might be the greatest Maybe. shooting guard. But to say the greatest of all time, come on, you man. Even, he's not even. A, oh my. Okay. Hey, that year, his first MVP. That man. That man averaged thirty-five. It was eighty-seven, eighty-eight. No. Top ten. He's not. No. Uh, I'm sorry. What is that? Eighty-nine, ninety. He didn't even win the MVP that year. That's the year he scored thirty-seven. No, eighty-nine, ninety. Who won MVP? And Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. Ma but this, but yeah, Magic Michael Jordan. Because Magic scored. was a very valuable player. Oh, because Scored. Man, Magic Johnson was a very good player, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't just sit here and tell me Michael Jordan is the greatest of all okay. time. And no, he's not the greatest of his era I mean, because I mean, he man, played listen, with listen, Magic Johnson. Okay. Listen, in 89-90, Magic Johnson's stats were... What is that? 22, I have no idea what that 22 is. and a half, 7 and 12, or 7... Eight and thirteen, almost a triple. Twenty-two and a half, eight and thirteen. That same year, Michael Jordan scored. He was 30, 33 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, with three. He almost a with three steals two. every game. That's almost a triple double too. They both had outstanding years. They gave it to Magic. So One I mean, you can't see ten points a game. So, yeah, you're right. One also won a championship. The other one didn't. And what this I mean by that is award. Yes, what I'm saying is you can't sit here and tell me he was the greatest of his era when he got other players who were great in his era. Okay, okay. So let me just ask you this: Does that season that he just mentioned was he not a better player that season? Than Magic Johnson? No. What made it better than Magic Johnson? Because he averaged more points. Well, then average and average more Magic assists, averaged more and more assists. and more rebounds. He didn't right. average more assists. No, Magic had twelve and eight. Jordan had what thirty and eight, thirty so eight and eight. Eight and eight. Yes. Yeah, so excuse me. Eight, more eight, same eight, amount of rebounds, eight. less assists, more points. And three re and three steals a game. And Adrian Danley. Orlando Willard, Excuse me. Whatever the name was. They have a cokehead you want to put in there. And three steals a game, though. While the other one had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, James Worthy, uh, I just stopped there. <laughs> yes, that's, that's when Magic had the better team, absolutely. And then when Jordan had the better team, he won his championships. So what does that mean? That means that the man had a better season than him. You said he wasn't better than him because he won the championship when Jordan has no control over that because he had a better team. No, like Jordan I said, can't help I said the fact they both, that he had nobody on his team. I said they both had great seasons. They both had great seasons. Michael yeah, Jordan's season just, was great. Michael Jordan's season asked, was great. I just asked you who had a better season. I just asked you that, and you said Magic. Magic had a better season, evidently. He won MVP. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, y'all should have watched. Y'all should have watched the 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 doc. As Magic said. He knew Jordan was coming. He, of course said, they knew Jordan was coming. He said he knew right. it was coming. All, All he needed was the team. Yeah, again, let me say this. I am not saying Michael Jordan sucks. That is not what you have not heard me say anything of the sort. Michael Jordan but was you know great. That you understand that Michael there's a, Jordan was great. I am not understand? saying he wasn't. Yeah, you understand that there's a large chasm between yeah, you said he and, top 10. and GOAT. You said that's my problem now. You said he's hold top on, 10. He's on. clearly top five or top three or top one. But top 10, you say there's nine other no, people no. you put ahead of him? Hey, I didn't say I put nine hundred people. I didn't say I put. I didn't say he was number ten in the top ten. I said he's in the top ten. That's what I'm saying. Y'all sitting here trying to say I'm saying something else. 
DRC, you forgot that he did give him the credit for being maybe the greatest shooting guard ever. Maybe. Just yeah, maybe. No, I, I heard that. I crossed right over that. Yeah. Perhaps. Maybe. Perhaps. I didn't say maybe. I said he's probably the greatest. I said he's probably the greatest shooting guard ever. Let y'all tell it. James Harden going to be that in a few years. Oh, you said probably. Probably. I mean, we talking about again. We talking about all times, which means you got to consider players coming after him too. And 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 according to you all, James Harden is going to be the greatest shooting guard of all time, according to you all. No, I mean, he keeps shooting like this. See, see, see. see? But then y'all can't. I can't say Jordan ain't the greatest Mm -hmm. of all time. But you can say that James Harden going to be better than him. I mean, he's the greatest all time. Damn, sure ain't LeBron. He's the greatest of all time until somebody takes over. Same with Wilt. Wilt was the greatest of all time until somebody came back, came through and took over. Same with Shaq. Shaq was the greatest of all time until somebody came and took over. It happened. Shaq was never the greatest of all time. Shaq was never the greatest of all time. Oh, my God. Ever. Ever. You've never seen anything like Shaq. If you've never seen any basketball, if basketball started right when Shaq started in your eyes, you would say Shaq was one of the greatest. Players. So you telling me you telling me that there are no centers that are greater than Shaq? And I wait a minute, let me make this clear. I am not saying Shaq sucks. Shaq was great. Shaq was great. But you can't sit here and tell me Shaq was better than Hakeem Olajuwon. You can't sit here and tell me that Shaq was better than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You can't sit here and tell me Shaq was better than Will Chamberlain. You can't sit here and tell me. You know, you can say he was better than Patrick Ewing. Absolutely. You can say he was better than Matumbo. Absolutely. You got to also remember Shaq played in an era when the great centers were leaving the league, and he was basically the only one left. Shaq was great. What's that mean? <laughs> Shaq was great, but greatest, great, greatest of every all time. one of those you mentioned, except for Kareem and Will. He played against every single one of them and was dominant. Shaq was the most dominant player you have seen, big man, since Kareem and, and Will Chang. Probably Shaq didn't Will dominate Chang. Akeem Olajuwon. Shaq didn't dominate Akeem Olajuwon. Uh, he Shaq did not dominate Akeem Olajuwon. What year was that they went to the finals? 95. 95? What year did the Kim retire? Average 29 points. 98. Say what? Shaq averaged 29 points that year. Yes, that's also the year everybody's saying the Kim should have won the second MVP and they gave it to David Robinson. So if, say, if Shaq was the greatest, well, well, if Shaq David was the greatest of all time. That means he wasn't better than David Robinson, right? Because he didn't get the MVP. Uh, yeah. That also yeah. means that Shaq wasn't greater Which, than David Robinson. Which that was my point the whole time when you're talking about your state. Hold on. (laughs) See, which I didn't understand where you were going when you said, well, why didn't Jordan win more MVPs? And I was like, well, David Robinson won MVP over Akeem in a year he clearly shouldn't have. And that's my So the MVPs don't matter. The MVPs mean nothing. Yes, it does. That's an award handed to you. Sir, let me tell you. Yes, it does. Because if you are truly, if you are truly the best player in the league, every single year you were in the league like y'all claim he was, how can anybody else be considered to be just as great as you? Because you can't or better, give or, 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 or to have a better season than you. And don't tell me you can't give it to the same player every year. Yes, the hell you can't. No, you can't. Then they would have. Then they would have. You can, but they don't. You can, okay, but they don't. You know why they don't? Because people have better seasons than you sometimes. Because people no, have because better people seasons than you sometimes. Achievement awards, and people okay. are naturally, they don't want to feel like they're biased. You have a, okay. a better season Same. doesn't make you a better player, though, right? When Steve Nash won those three in, instead of, or two instead of Shaquille O'Neal, Steve Nash isn't better than Shaquille O'Neal. No, he is not. But you cannot sit here and say that Shaquille O'Neal is the greatest of all time when he wasn't the best player in his era. Did, I'm did saying you can definitely 93? put him in the conversation. He is definitely one of four that you say can what? put in there. Did Jordan play in 93? Yes. yes. Jordan, he won the MVP. Charles Barkley won MVP in 93. And I so guess you're going to tell me Charles Barkley ain't great? No, Shaq. He didn't play in 93. 
Mike, you talking about 93, 94? Yeah, Mike didn't play 93. Okay, 93, yeah, 94, Mike Dream 92, won it. 93. So, so, 92, so 93, Mike Barkley won it. All right, so Barkley right, won in 92, 93. Dream won in 93, 94. David Robinson won in 94, 95. And then Jordan won it again in 96. Let's go so to 97. Jordan, so I don't, Jordan won it in 97. But no, you, 97 was about, Carl Malone won it. Oh, that's right. Carl Malone won it in 97. Carl Malone won it. So I guess you're going to tell me Carl Malone wasn't a great player? All of these are doing yeah, Jordan's yeah. era. Wasn't All better than what? Hold on. Hold on. Carl Malone averaged 27. That Carl Malone MVP is a lifetime achievement. That was a lifetime achievement. Yeah, Carl Malone averaged 27. And to Carl Malone. 27. 10 and we'll give five. And that was charity. 27, 10, and five. That 97 yeah. season, what was that? As great as he was, the MVP. He deserves it. Was that 96, 97? Yes, that's 96, 97. You're an average 20, 30, five, and five, or five and six. So are they not both great years? Are they not both great years? Or well, actually, six and four. Jack average twenty. So you telling me and twelve? So you telling me you telling me you can't make an argument for Carl Malone, who is is not a guard, which means he has to rely on someone getting him the ball to average twenty seven points a game. You telling me that that's not a great season. That only 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 Jordan's season is great because he's a, a guard. Who dominates the I'm ball saying, and averaged thirty, just three more points than he I'm needs. saying Dominate Jordan sees ball, better right? because he's two years off retirement. He oh, never dominate the ball, bro. He act like Jordan. he was doing stuff like he was James Harden out there. Jordan didn't dominate. Jordan didn't dominate the ball. Uh, see now, nah, see that's what I'm saying. Do y'all see? That's why I'm like y'all don't. Y'all obviously don't remember Jordan playing. Y'all just talking? got this. There was a, uh, like Amar, like Amar say, like uh, Lamar say, uh, um, Amar says about Bruce Lee and his legend. Y'all make Jordan's legend greater than it was. Jordan didn't dominate okay, the ball. No, he was a volume define. shooter. He was a volume shooter, just like, just like. All the great scores were. He had to shoot the ball a bunch of times to score a bunch of points. Let, let, let's define dominate the ball. Allen Iverson dominated the ball, right? Allen Iverson dominated James the ball. James Harden dominated the ball, right? James Harden dominated the ball. Are you telling me that Michael Jordan dominates the ball and dominated the ball in the same fashion that James Harden and Wedge McCauley dominated the ball? Or are you Did telling you me really that he not remember? all the shots? No, I remember. He had to pass it. It was an offense that they ran. The offense had to go through several people, and then he would be the one that had the last shot. That's how it happened. He would come oh, down okay. and have to drop it down. James Harden oh, didn't pass it. James Harden comes down, dribbles the ball, and passes yes, it. If he, has he dribbles the ball that's up. Court. That, 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 that's not the only way you can dominate the ball. If you are taking the, 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 a large volume of the shots, you're dominating the ball. So Will Chamberlain dominated the ball. Shaquille O'Neal dominated the ball. Hakeem yes. Olajuwon dominated the ball. Oh, wait, they're all great. What does that tell Everybody you? Everybody would talking that's about exactly dominating the ball. My, that's what I said. That's, are y'all not listening to me? I said all the greats had to shoot in volumes to average a lot of points. So y'all saying about these Jordan, about Jordan scoring all of these points, they all had to dominate. They all had to shoot. A ton of shots. And he scored more than all of them. That's all we're saying. He averaged more than all of them. So that made him a better player than them? That, or does uh, that, that mean he scored better than them? That contributed to it. It's all a piece of the puzzle that goes into making one great. And at this point in time, I'm not even is arguing James for Harden, him being is, the is greatest James Harden, of all time. Is James Harden the greatest player in his era? Is James Harden the greatest, the greatest player scorer, in his era? He's the greatest scorer That's of his era. I ask. Is he the greatest player in his era? No. But he averages the no, most points in his era, right? I'm not going. Yes. So why is I'm it not going with Michael that. Jordan? I'm not going off. I that. just said it's a piece to the puzzle because what's the rest of James Harden's puzzle? Meaning what? I'm exactly. not going That's off. the problem. There is no more to the puzzle. What you going off, my? Look, I'm going off of his years and everybody else in basketball who played who say Michael Jordan is the greatest. That's what I'm going off of. I'm going off of Magic Johnson saying Michael Jordan's the greatest. 
I'm going off of Akeem Olajuwon. Magic Johnson's the greatest. Magic Johnson's the greatest. It depends on who you ask. Because those same folks will say. Man, Michael Jordan's the greatest. Oh, man, that's come on now. That's because then again, that's somebody what? that's a different era. That's a different era. He's gracefully bowing out to a different era. Like, 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 like you that. said several months ago, like you said several months ago, DRC, when we were talking about Bo Jackson being the greatest athlete, everybody don't have to be an ass. Some people can just be gracious. Dr. J could very easily say, man, I was way better than Jordan. Jordan is the only reason Jordan is who he is is because of what I did. Jordan, Jordan modeled his game after me and what I do. But everybody don't have to be an well, ass. My point is that nobody else is saying that. Like that's the modest point is that nobody else is saying. And I say it depends on who you ask because when you ask I folk, mean, when you ask folk about Dr. J, you know what they say? Dr. J was the man. But I'm just okay. So I'm saying now. Michael Jordan came in the league in 84. Yes, 84, 85. Yeah, 84. So he was mid 80s. The the actually yes. the year before it wasn't that the year before uh Philly won their championship. That's the year after. Or the year after. Yes. So, are you saying, because he came in the mid-80s, that during the early 80s, the 70s, and 60s, Michael Jordan could not do what he was doing now, doing then? No. That's no. That's not what I'm saying at all. So, you say he can still, average, he can still average about 37 30, he could average high 30s, 30 to mid 30s, and do all he can in those eras. Yeah, I'm not. Yes, Michael Jordan could play in any era. I am not saying no, so Michael. Think he could, do you think he could average 37 or from 30 to 37 in those eras? Probably, yes. And he would be the greatest basketball player of all time. Not necessarily. No. No, he wouldn't. We have, not even, we have not even mentioned the fact that he is the best defending guard to play the game. I haven't even mentioned because it. Because I can pose the same question then. If you move those dudes in the previous, into the, into the Jordans era, they could average and do what they did. They could dominate the way that they did. That, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The greats are great, no matter what think, era. I don't think. Uh, I don't think you're, the Celtic dude could. Who? Cool. Larry Bird? No. What's that Celtic dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who? Bill Russell? Guy. Yeah. We ain't even talking about Bill good. Russell. I'm just saying. I don't. But I saw Bill Russell once in a playoff game. Scored 25 and 40. That's what I'm 25 saying. Twenty-five points and forty rebounds. But I, 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 I wouldn't dare sit here and say that Bill Russell is not one of the greatest players of all time. They played in a completely different yeah, era. You say he's one of the great, but you wouldn't say he's the greatest. No, I wouldn't, and that, that, that's what I'm saying. It's too many great players spread out within eras to sit there and say that Michael Jordan is the greatest of all of them. It's too many. But you said he can score 30s, and nobody did that. Again, I am not saying Michael Jordan is sorry. Y'all acting like I'm saying the man was a scrub. So, so, so my question would be, can you say anyone is the greatest then? Would you say anyone is the greatest of all time? He said Kareem was. So, Hadar, how can Kareem be the greatest of all time if there are so many great, great players that have played yeah, of all Kareem time? Has, Kareem has the most points. It's not just because established. it's not That's just because Kareem it's not just because he has the most points. It is the fact that when he came into the league, he revolutionized the game. 
he created a shot that was indefensible. One of the reasons it was indefensible was because they changed the rules of the game. So he had to create his own shot. And if anybody who has ever tried to perform that shot, they would know that's a quite difficult shot. He made that shot from the baseline. He's shooting that shot from the baseline. Most folk can't make jumpers from the baseline. He's shooting a sky hook from the baseline. Do you know if you ain't talking about had, a sky hook, you could be talking about Jordan right now? Yes, I am not saying Jordan is not great. He is not the I'm greatest saying. player of all time. No, I'm just saying, everything you're saying is the same. Kareem is not the greatest player of all time. So, it, okay, so if, if everything that I'm saying about Kareem can be said about Jordan, how are you going to say no, Jordan is better than Kareem? No, everything you're saying about Kareem could be said about Wilt. Everything you're saying about Kareem could have been said about Wilt. Exactly. So how are you going to sit here and say, how are you going to sit here and say that Jordan is better than both of them? How? How? Because one was 6'6", six, six, and one never lost in six NBA finals. That is it. I haven't even gotten to the other aspects of the man's game, bro. I'm just saying the man was by far one of the greatest players at all times he was in the league. The man came in as a rookie and set records, won rookie of the year. He was the greatest player on the court pretty much ever since he came into the league. Then the man lost. Then the man won. Once he won, he never lost again. He never lost again. You want to talk about an indefensible shot? The man had you 19 mean he never of lost, them. He never lost what? He, had he never lost the NBA Finals? The man, yes. The man would make He lost the 95. People forget that. He lost, he lost the 95. That's how Shaq, that's how Shaq made it to the, the finals. Final. Exactly. He didn't lose in the NBA Finals? You, so you meaning only in the NBA Finals? Well, that's the only way he could be undefeated because we know he lost the uh, the Lakers and the I mean lost to Detroit and lost to Boston and the other ones. So we know he's not undefeated there. Either way, right? I'm just saying the man. Yes, because he was undefeated in the NBA Finals at the pinnacle of your game. Okay, because the fact he was the best shooting guard of all time. Points wise, at least the best defending guard of all time. You want to talk about revolutionized the game. The reason you watch the uh, uh, what's that man named Michael Jordan is not just because it went live. It's because they saw Michael Jordan and said, "This is how we're marketing the game. We're not going to market the game behind the Chicago Bulls. Who the hell cares about the Chicago Bulls? We're going to market the game behind Michael Jordan." alone and Elijah Wan alone and Charles Barkley alone. And that's the NBA that you have that's allowing these people like Evan Fournier to make $20 million a year because it's just about the person. It's about what you can do to entertain the fan, not the team. So they all revolutionize the game. That's because they come in in a different era. So how? So I'm going to concede to you. I'll concede to you. They're both the greatest of all time. <laughs> But you can't even give me that. You can't even put to, uh, Michael Jordan in the top five, bro. You can't even put Michael Jordan no. in the top five. So wait, 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 wait. If you're going to have two greatest of all time, you don't have a greatest of all time. Exactly. So exactly. Jordan like is said, not I'm gonna the greatest of all time. I'm going to concede to you, okay? Because I already told you who the greatest of all time is. It is Michael Jordan. But you can't. I would also tell you this. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is in the top three. Where's Michael Jordan? Fine, I'll put him in the I mean, top five. Nah, That's don't just put him in the top five to appease me. No, 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 no. I will. I, I'm gonna tell you why I will put him in the top five because yeah. he is he is probably the greatest shooting guard of all time. So if he's the greatest yeah. shooting guard of all time, if he is the greatest shooting guard of all time, then he has to be in the top five. Because then so you is would Kareem say the greatest trainer of all time. Yes, Kareem is the greatest. He's not probably the greatest center of all time. He's not probably the greatest center of all time. He's the greatest center of all time. So why can he be the greatest of all time? Michael Jordan can only be probably the greatest of all time. Hold on. Because y'all just said there's a youngster coming in. I'm gonna let you finish just a second more. Y'all just said there's a youngster coming in right now that will at the end of his career might be better than him. Nobody said that. Well, well, Gamal said that. 
I don't agree with that. <laughs> Nobody will ever come in close to Michael Jordan. But go ahead. That's the problem LeBron is having. But go ahead, Amon. Look here, man. I'll put it like this. You say, okay, so Kareem is the greatest of all time, not MJ. They don't even play the game that way no more, what Kareem did. Jordan revolutionized the game. The game went from a big man's game Dang. to a guard swing man's game. Okay? Even when Magic was playing. It was still a big man's game because it was Magic's job to go down there and get the ball to Kareem on the block. They don't even play the game like that no more. The game has been revolutionized. Even dudes that are 7'2 are emulating Michael Jordan. They're not emulating Kareem. Nobody tries to shoot a jump hook no more. No. Nobody shoots That's the sky true. hook anymore. Jordan, Re what's That's not, not true? true? Who's got a because if he sky hook? Who because if that, case, if that Who was the case, if that was the case, then I'm saying if that was the case, then Shaq wouldn't have come after that. Out. If that was the case, Shaq doesn't come after that. If that was the case, then then uh uh um what do you mean? uh Shaq is the only one at this time. Shaq be one of if that was that's the, upset. You what I'm saying, if that was the case, if, if that was the case, why Shaq didn't want to be Jordan? You still because he was seven feet tall. Same way Joel and B can't be Jordan. Shaq. He's seven feet tall. You're still gonna have big feet. He couldn't be Kevin, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is seven feet tall, and he wanted to be yeah. Jordan. That's why he. Kevin Garnett. Kevin 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 Garnett is seven feet tall. Why he didn't want to be Michael Jordan? Uh, he clearly wanted to be Michael Jordan, which is why he's not one of the greatest of all time. Because he wouldn't just stay his black ass on the front and dominate. Hold on. So Kevin Garnett what? played like uh, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Why Tim Duncan? Why Tim Duncan? Did, did, what didn't want to be Jordan? What, you, what are you asking? What are you saying? <laughs> if you're a big man, you're gonna be a big man. What 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 does that mean? So what I'm saying is, all of those players came after Michael Jordan. Yes, they. Jordan yes. did not make the game go the direction. Jordan did not make the game that the direction is going. No, 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 no. In no, all no. actuality, that's not that's not a factual statement, brother. You can't just go. You can't. It is what he just like said. That. No, you can't just jump like that because before what he had before was you had. Your Mark Eaton's, you had your Sam Bowie's, you had every team had two or three. Your Tree Rollins on the team. Every team had two or three seven footers on the team. Not to mention there was seven more waiting in the pipeline. The game has oh, been revolutionized, but that doesn't occur anymore. Now, if you're six eight, you're LeBron. Every team, right? But that's not because of, that's not because of Michael Jordan. When Kareem played, okay. Everybody was trying to play like that. Even if your center was shit, you were trying to play inside. Against Tree Rollins starting for Atlanta. Yes. Shout out. Care about it, hey? The Rockets started yeah. P.J. Tucker in center. Nobody cares about that anymore. But that's not because Nobody of Michael Jordan. Jordan. That's what I'm telling you. That's not who was that what because of Michael Jordan. What made the game do that that what made the game do that was the implementing of European players began to spread the floor, and so the big man became obsolete because they then had to now guard the perimeter when they used to didn't right. have to do that. That's yeah, not Michael no. Jordan. That's the, yeah, that's no, the integration no. of international players. No, no. That ain't got nothing to do with no international that's players. No, no. Guess who influenced the international you had four or five international players back then. Yeah, the guess who every international player ended up seeing. That's who influenced the international players. That part, that part might be true, but what made the game go now outside in the way it is now is not Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan didn't play outside. What you Michael Jordan attacked the goal. Michael Jordan, he had his mid-range jumper, yes. He had his mid-range jumper as an older, as an older Michael Jordan. But if you remember correctly, Jordan wasn't a jump shooter. I'm, Jordan I'm attacked the basket. Jordan, Jordan got his buckets. No, I'm drinking. No Jordan was a jump shooter later in his career, especially yes. the second part. He was a yes. mid-range jump shooter, but he was a jump shooter. Yes. Because he was. What made the game go outside? What made the game go outside? What made the game go outside in was the integration of the in, the European players and their ability to stretch out the floor. When you had big men who could shoot 
from the outside, you then had to go get big men who could guard big men who could guard the perimeter, and that's what made the game become so an outside game. So who was the first big man to do that? Uh, European big man who came in and revolutionized the game. This uh, name won. Dino Rodman. Name won before That didn't come till Dirk. I don't remember Sabonis. I don't remember Sabonis shooting three pointers like that. Sabonis was a big man. He was definitely was stretching Dino the floor. Dino Rodman. Sabonis played on. Yeah, but you can stretch the floor to 18 feet. So was Elijah Wan. Vladi Divac. Also not shooting three. Vladi Divac played on the block. He got he got assists playing on the block. He passed the Behind ball the back body, Chris you, cut, you cut and new body ball. passes it to you. So 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 My new ball, he used to shoot three. So what big so what big man what big man hybrid are y'all crediting that to? Who are y'all giving that to then? I don't I don't give it to when the did big it start? Man. When did it start? It, when did it start? What when did what start? When did the lack of big man start, or when did the stretch four start? When Kevin Durant got in the league? I mean, not Kevin Durant. When Kevin, Kevin Garnett. Garnett got right. Kevin Garnett. Thank you. Kevin Garnett. But that all happened after the Dream Team in 92. That was after. That's when it all started. And guess who was on the Dream Team? Bro, people ain't buying no Kareem Abdul Jabbar's out there. <laughs> People ain't buying no no Scotty Pippins even. Like, come on, bro. You can't deny the swag, bro. You can't deny the swag. That's not that's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. Don't even don't 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 even don't even get me don't even get me to the fiscal responsibility of other folks in the Jordans. Don't even that's a conversation for a whole other day. That ain't what we're talking about. We talking about this man. We talking about the band being the greatest NBA player of all time. I just say I've never heard anybody say I want to be like Kareem. Because nobody saw Kareem play in his prime. No, yeah, they, they, that's they offensive. Play. They've still no. seen Kareem play, bro. You have seen Kareem play, right? Okay, you can sit here and break down Kareem's his game prime. to me right now. I'm saying I, what did Shaq say? Me. You can go Shaq watch it. I want to play like Kareem. Yes, you know who Shaq said he wanted to play like? Akeem Olajuwon. But then he saw Jordan. He was like, I want to play like him, though. No, he did not. He said he wanted to play like Akeem Olajuwon. No, the person that he had and to get Akeem in order Olajuwon to win. And Akeem did not say I want to play like Jordan. The one he had to get in order to have a championship on his belt said, I want to play like Michael Jordan. That's what happened with Shaquille O'Neal. You can play like a Kim Elijah one all you want. You can take your two championships and go home. Whoa. Or you can go and get your Kobe Bryant, who was wait, a baby wait, wait, wait. and now you got seven or five, however many you got. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not get it twisted. Those three championships are Shaq championships. Kobe just rolled along. That's absurd. That's absurd. What? That's absurd. What? That's absurd. Those three game. championships are Shaq's championships. Kobe rolled along. Now wait, let me let me make it clear. Please Kobe qualify. contributed. Please qualify. Kobe contributed. Oh, 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 he was there. Did he show up? Kobe was, he on, was he on the court? Kobe, Kobe <laughs> contributed. But those are Shaq's championships. I guarantee you. And 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 hear me. Kobe does not win those without Shaq. And yes, I'll even go far enough to say Shaq doesn't win those without Kobe. But I am certain, I am certain without Shaq, Kobe is nothing. There is no Kobe without Shaq. There is no Kobe without Shaq. There's a Shaq without Kobe. I don't know if there's no Kobe without Shaq. I think Kobe will make Kobe. Kobe, Kobe. would have been Kobe no yeah. matter where he went. Yeah, they he wouldn't have been, 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 been five-time NBA champion, Kobe. No, because no, it would. takes a team to do that, but you know what he would have been? I would have liked to see him staying in Charlotte to really see what he was going to do. It would have been I the guarantee second you, we greatest been, football. We'd have never, we, no, we'd have never talked about Kobe Bryant ever if he'd have stayed in Charlotte, ever. No, he'd, be, he'd, be Kimber Walker. he'd be Kimber Walker. He'd be Kimber Walker. He'd be Kimber Walker. You just brought up Adrian Dantley. 
an hour ago you brought up Adrian <laughs> Bentley. And so you're going to tell me nobody would have brought up Kobe Bryant? <laughs> I'm saying if Kobe Bryant stays in Charlotte, no, we're not talking about Kobe Bryant. If and he I'm stays saying in that's Charlotte. absurd. If you cold, you cold. And he would have been cold no matter where he how come nobody? How come, no, how come nobody talks about Bob McAdoo? Because the majority of his career was played in Buffalo, and he was by far one of the greatest players in the league at that time. But nobody talks about it because he was playing in obscurity in Buffalo. Kobe Bryant would have done the same thing in Charlotte. He would have played in obscurity, and we would not have talked about him. I actually know a couple people, one person in particular who actually is by McAdoo is one of the two greatest players of all time. But we ain't going to get into that. I, people do talk about Bob McAdoo. Bob McAdoo is just old as dirt. And like you said, he played in Buffalo. <laughs> that's it's as simple as that. It's 2020, bro. Like all I'm so saying you don't is think that, that's so that's not Kobe and that, Charlotte. No, that wouldn't be Kobe and Charlotte because Kobe and Charlotte would have had an impact on the game that Bob McAdoo did. Kobe and Charlotte still would have been Kobe. Kobe still would have been fighting teammates. Kobe still would have been busting 30, 40, 50, 80 points in a game. That still would have occurred in Charlotte. That been still Kimber would have Walker. occurred at the time when it, no, because he would have been better than Kimber Walker. Kimber Walker wishes he could hold the left nut Kobe Bryant had. Like, it's not even close. Kobe Bryant was also the best defensive player at his position for five years straight, six years straight? Mm. Mm. I don't know about that. <laughs> Where Kobe Bryant hates you going on in the back. From that oh, yeah, yeah. No, he don't know like that. <laughs> he wasn't that best defender. Grunt said, I don't like me. How was he best defender? Oh, yeah, we got oh, How was he the best defender? Yeah. I, he never... Oh Steals is an arbitrary stat, brother. You like Steals simply because of Allen Iverson. But James Steals Harden leads the league in Steals. You know James Harden ain't the best defensive player on the game. James Harden ain't never led the league in Steals. Don't you tell that lie. Top five in Steals, excuse me. Ain't never been top <laughs> five in a defensive player in the league. But, I mean, I don't know. I just know, back to this Michael Jordan shit. I just know Michael Jordan. I don't even see how... I don't even see how another argument can be made for any other player besides Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain. And I'll probably throw in Magic Johnson but I wouldn't throw in Magic Johnson. But Magic Johnson is really what changed the NBA with his rivalry. With so give me your top. Let's do it this way. But, Let's do it this way. All time top five at by position. By position. Give me the all top all time starting five. Give me the all time starting five. Uh, we'll start with you, D. All time starting five. All time starting five. Okay, well, point guard is easy. That would probably be Isaiah Thomas. Because uh, I wouldn't put Magic there. What was Magic's position? What Magic's position? Do I choose that? He was a point guard. Yes, Magic but to go ahead, make guard. your starting five. Yeah, go ahead. But Magic well, I mean, was a point that's guard. The place What position is LeBron James? Man, it's your all-time starting Okay, five. so my, my starting five would be Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Hakeem Olajuwon, Will Chamberlain. Come on. Hey. Come on. Well, my starting five? My starting yeah, all five? starting five. All-time starting five. Magic. Michael. Bird. Malone, Elijah one. Which Malone? Carl Malone. Jeff Carl Malone. Malone. 
Don't forget Moses. Don't, Moses. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. I'm not going to be disrespectful to Moses, but no, not Moses. You were just disrespectful. Thank you. He was definitely just disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Mal Mizzle, who you got? Ay, ay, ay. I would have to go. Yeah, I'd go Magic at point. Uh, Mike at two. Three would be uh, LeBron. Four would be Tim Duncan. And five would be a King Lodging one. Let's see, I got I got major conflictions going on over here. Because I don't know that. Because you don't put Michael Jordan in. Well, no, Michael is definitely playing two. But like you said, between point guard, it's between Magic and Isaiah. It's between Magic and Isaiah. And I don't know, I don't know if I want to put You know you want to go with the six nine. I wanted to go actually Alan Iverson at my point. I knew I knew, yeah, but you I, know knew you couldn't I knew, do I, knew that. I knew you was doing that too. When you said uh you you when you said uh I <laughs> said I know exactly he ain't thinking about the two guard positions. He's still thinking about the point guard position. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I guess I gotta go Magic Jordan. <sighs> See, I, I'm going to tell you why I got real issues at the three, right? Because there are several threes you can put there. And not to mention, you got to put Oscar Robinson somewhere on this list. Now, I know he was a point that's, guard. You got to put – come on, man. You got to put Oscar Robinson somewhere no, on that's this okay. list. I'm just, I'm just saying. So that's, so I could have went with Kareem, Elijah Wan, and Will Chamberlain. Good and and Shaq. You know what I'm saying? That bit of I hard. Mean, that was hard right there. What I mean, they'd have, got, they'd have got schooled with anybody that had a guard on it. But, yeah, what you would have had a very good team. I mean, a lot of people were power forward when he came into the league. Anyway, I got to pick somebody. So, I, I guess I got to go I'm gonna go Magic, Jordan. <sighs> Again, because you got Bob McAdoo. You got. Tracy McGrady, you got you got That's LeBron, true. you got Larry Bird, you got Larry Bird, you got Adrian Dantley, you got a bunch of folk you put at the three. There's a bunch of folk you put at the three, but I guess I gotta go LeBron. Put Dirk I gotta go three. LeBron. No, I'm definitely not putting Dirk at three. I gotta go LeBron. And I'ma go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Chuck at the four and and, and oh, Kareem no. at the five. I'm going to go Chuck at the four and Kareem at the five. But you like Elijah Wan. I do like Elijah Wan, but I can't sit here and say Elijah Wan was better than Kareem. You can say he's better than Charles Barker. Elijah Wan played four for half his career. No, he did not. He, he played, played for the first four, four years. For, he played it for the first two years. Uh, it came in in 83, and in 86, they was, uh, excuse me, 86, they was doing the championship. So eighty seven, right, he was playing the four. Ralph still was there in eighty seven. Yeah, but but Akeem was the man. Akeem, Akeem was the starting center. Yeah, man, but you seven nine and you six ten, bro. You ain't the starting center, bro. You just the man. <laughs> man, the dude was playing against. A, I mean, with a legitimate seven footer, and nobody would have given Hakeem Olajuwon seven feet. Yes, that's because Ralph Sansa was seven four, wasn't he? Yes. He was seven four. Yeah, he's seven like four. Bad knees and a coke prop. God dang it. Seven four, one twenty five. Yeah. One twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> that dude was a great player though, man. Like it's just a damn shame he had them bad knees, man. You're just not supposed to be seven four. I was watching eighty six uh Western Conference finals when he hit that shot. The like tap in Left. Man. But what I noticed yeah, is that Kareem yeah. had couldn't do nothing with them boys, bro. Yeah, Kareem's no, old man. Couldn't, man. Couldn't do nothing with them boys. 
they actually, for that game, they were talking about it. They moved uh, Kareem the over. They moved Kareem over because the Rockets were up 3-1 in that damn series. They moved Kareem over to guard Elijah one and put Kurt Rambis on uh, Samson because mm. Kurt Rambis was getting dogged by Akeem so hard. And <laughs> one of those the only thing that got that that, that stopped Akeem was Akeem was a wild African back then, boy. Yeah, it was, he got kicked out of that. Quit. <laughs> he got thrown kind of, out of that game. I don't know. Kind of, Temper Dang. problem, man. A slight temper. We found out quick. He used to file out in the first quarters and stuff. I mean, and, and, we, and was straight up slap you. I mean, was straight up. Dream would slap you. He didn't care. He's like, I, I know, I know, I'm on. I, I'm we we on offense, but I'm finna boop right there on the defense. <laughs> on the other end of the floor, and we gonna go on about our business. Oh. Follow the Garage Department on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me share some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Department Radio on YouTube.